Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to talk about the ritual sign. Very strange sign. Again, one that does not increase his attributes but gives you some spells. This time, however, those spells are very good actually. The spells in this category actually work very well. First is Turn Undead. I don't remember if it's 15 or 25. I'm pretty sure it's level 25. If you don't know what that does, it makes an undead flee from you. Now, it's a power, but that can actually be useful because the undead are fast in this game. The ghosts, the shades, like even zombies. And this is where zombies are really tough in the beginning. So if you're fighting a zombie, you know... This spell, most of the time, will make them run away. Now, it's kind of useful, kind of not, because you can eventually get that spell anyways. So keep that in mind. But it's good. It's a good backup if you're low magic. Because unlike most of the other spells you get that really have powerful counterparts, right? Like, the tower does reflect damage 5%, and that lets you make damage be better reflect damage. Or uh, the open the average lock, right? This turn on dead level 25, you're not going to need to replace it for a while. And the situ and if, even though it's a daily power, situations you're going need to you need to use it very low. Now, the other spell, which, in my opinion, is the best spell that you will ever get from any sign is it heals 200 health points instantly. This is really, really, really useful. Yes, it is a daily power, but it can help out a lot. Most characters, you know, low level, it'll instantly heal you all the way, especially good in the beginning. It saves your magic. If you're an Atronach, well, you can't, I mean, if you could combine this with the Atronach, it'd be overpowered. But... It's just a good healing spell. Better than any healing spell that you can pretty much get. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think some over time that you would be master level restoration to use. Yeah, but even then, like, if you're running low on either health potions, health items, or magic or magic items, this thing can be used if you lack any one of those. And in the beginning, you will probably be missing those constantly right now here's here's what else i want you to think about most of the time in the beginning of the game you can raid one or two caves and then you have to go back to town then you have to go raid a cave again that usually takes an in-game day so you're gonna have this spell pretty much once per cave if you're really looting everything you'll have it once per cave and that makes it really really useful a lot of the other spells you know invisibility why not just have a permanent one that you can cast just bam, 10 seconds, bam, 10 seconds, bam. Then you're probably out of the cave in 30 seconds, let's be honest. So this healing spell is really good. Now, I wouldn't say this sign is a good pick because it doesn't increase your attributes. I am a very big, I'm very big on picking something that increases attributes or the mage, apprentice, or atronach. Like, it, like I just, the stat increases. Are where it's at for me and really end game you're gonna be you're gonna have so much healing crap that it really doesn't matter so with that guys that's it for this video ritual very good I would say this is a sign that you use for a character that you maybe play for like a week and then make another one and then play it for a week make another one you know something like that as opposed to a character you're gonna like play end game with and stuff so with that being said, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion Sign videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.